Jake Fromm is off the board finally in the fifth round. The quarterback out of Georgia goes to the Buffalo Bills. Keep in mind, Jake Fromm led the FBS with 35 wins as a starting quarterback, if you believe wins are a quarterback stat, over the last three seasons. And he did it at an SEC school, yet he finds himself drafted behind the likes of James Morgan out of Florida International. He grew up in Warner Robins, Georgia. That's him as a little baby just outside Macon. He learned to hunt and fish from his grandfather, Bill Haskins. He's loved hunting and fishing since he was four years old. And now we take a look at Jake Fromm with our Boost Mobile setup. And he burst onto the scene first as a baseball player in the 2011 Little League World Series. He showed up. His nickname was Manchild. He hit three home runs and struck out 11 of the 18 batters he faced. And then when he got to Georgia, Mel, this was a productive kid. No doubt, Trey. I mean, he's a great leader, highly respected young man within that Georgia program. All the intangibles Jake Fromm has, knowledge of the game. He has it, you know, you're talking about a 10-plus. That would be Jake Fromm. Now, in terms of being a game manager, 78 career touchdown passes, only 18 interceptions. Going into this year, back in August, you knew he would be up against it. He's not a guy who has that great physical athletic ability, that rocket arm. He doesn't have that. He loses his top five receivers. That was a tight end as well. Thousand-yard rusher, Elijah Holofield, who worked in unison with DeAndre Swift, and his center all left them. So now you got all these new entities, some freshmen taking over at wide receiver, one of which was hurt some, and you're expecting him to equal what he did two years ago. That was not going to happen. Then at the combine, Daniel, the arm strength showed, and that's where you have all the decision makers, coaches maybe saying, who's this guy? Boy, with that arm, is that Jake Fromm? I really think the combine hurt him in the draft process, Daniel, because it was the last time we saw him was late February, early March in Indy, and the arm strength was an issue there. Yeah, it's fascinating that he went to Buffalo for a number of reasons. First of all, he has the same agency that represents Josh Allen, represents Jake Fromm. Then you talk about polar opposites as players. Josh Allen, the big size, the huge arm, Josh Allen doesn't throw with a ton of anticipation, but he's got such velocity he can still put it on you. Then you talk about Jake Fromm, who's a rhythm, touch, timing passer. Uh, the one thing I think that's going to be a great fit about this in Buffalo is that Jake Fromm and his intelligence, his knowledge, has blown teams away during that portion, Lewis. So as a backup, I think he'll be able to help Josh Allen in the meeting room as they prepare to get ready for that week's opponents, maybe more so than most rookie quarterbacks would be prepared to do that. Yeah, I think you hit the nail on the head right there, Daniel. That's exactly what he brings. And we know, look, first of all, backup quarterback is a top 30 position on your 53-man roster. Two, the most important aspect of backup quarterbacks has to be their makeup, their character, have to be self-starters be able to come into a football game and play without getting any reps at all. Sometimes maybe not even really even being talked to very much during the week, just running scout team. Jake Fromm fits all that. That may not be what he wants to hear, but that may be his calling card in the NFL, and that may be how he lasts a long, long time. And I'm with you, Mel. We sat there and we watched him throw at the combine together. It really wasn't a good performance. As a matter of fact, it was kind of striking at how much he seemed to lack horsepower on his arm to be able to drive the football in an environment where he had to get used to wide receivers he'd never thrown to. And that's a telling sign when you're at the combine, and I'm sure that affected his draft stock here today. Well, that is all our Boost Mobile step up on Jake Fromm. So for more on Jake Fromm, let's bring in our ESPN insider, Chris Mortensen. Mort, you know, he almost won a national championship at Georgia. He almost got past Alabama in that SEC championship game. But last season, he had a streak of five straight games completing fewer than 50% of his passes, the longest streak we've seen since Jake Locker uh, did that in 2007. What are you hearing about what Jake Fromm may be able to be in Buffalo? Well, since you mentioned that college football playoff championship game against Alabama, uh, that was the game where Tua Tunga Valoa hit the national stage in a big way with that uh, game-winning pass in overtime that won for the Alabama Crimson Tide. Jake Fromm was on the other side playing quarterback for Georgia. Actually had a very good game for him. Well, the offensive coordinator for Alabama who had to watch that and, and chess match back and forth was Brian Dabo, who was the Bills offensive coordinator. And Brandon Bean, the general manager of the Bills, texted me that he wasn't planning to draft Jake Fromm today, but he was on the board and thought he was too good to pass up, even though you would think the physical attributes don't fit with that Buffalo climate 
Uh, they are happy to have a guy like that in the quarterback room and backing up, eventually, Josh Allen. NFL Draft begins Thursday, April 23rd on ESPN and ABC.